Hey guys, I am Rajat and today in this video, I am going to show you how you can install O-ROM version 3 in your Samsung Exynos 7870 devices. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Before we start, I just want to say that this video is just an installation video. If you know about the installation process, then this video is not for you. Now to install the ROM, first of all turn off your device and boot it to your custom recovery mode by pressing the home button, power key and the volume up key at the same time. For this installation, I would like to recommend you to use the Orange Fox recovery. Now if you don't know how to install Orange Fox recovery, Check the video that is popping up now in the right corner. Now after opening your custom recovery mode, you have to wipe your device. For that, just go to the third section called wipe and select Telvik, Art Cache, Cache, System and Data. And after selecting these four options, swipe the arrow to the right side for wiping your device. As you can see that my device has been wiped successfully. So let me just show you the zip files that you need for installing this ROM. Now for the installation you just need 3 zip files, first one is the create vendor zip file, second one is the partitioner 2.8 system zip file and third one is the OROM port 3 G6 port ROM zip file. All the links of the zip files has given in the description box. Now to install the ROM, first of all flash the create vendor zip file. Now after flashing the create vendor zip file, reboot your recovery mode. Now the second zip file that you need to flash is the partitioner zip file and after flashing the zip file this will automatically reboot your recovery mode so you do not have to worry about this. Now just flash the ROM's zip file. Tap on next and then agree the terms and again select next, again next. And from here you can select what kind of flash do you like. I would like to recommend you to use the clean flash. So select this and after selecting this tap on next. Now if you need navigation bar just select it and you can also change boot animations from here. So select what kind of boot animation do you like and after selecting this just tap on next. Now select the apps that you need and these apps will be stay as in your system as pre-installed applications. And after selecting this tap on next and here you have to tap on ok and then you can uh, set the data icon in power menu and you can also uh, enable or disable the call recording option. Now just tap on next and then ok by that your installing process will get started. Be patient, uh, the installation of the zip file will take a large amount of time.
now tap on done and then finish by that your device will be booted automatically Now if your device is stuck at the boot logo don't worry you just need to do a power reboot by pressing the volume down key and the power key at the same time by that your device will be booted automatically So here is our O ROM that is ported from Galaxy J6 and the wallpaper is pretty nice and if we go to the settings and then our phone and in the software information you can see that the One UI version is 2.0 and the Android version is Android 10 and the security patch that has been given is the 1st June 2020 security patch and the kernel that has been used is the RS kernel version 6. So that's it for today. Please subscribe to this channel and guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.